Warning, this content may be upsetting or disturbing to some audiences. What is the scariest thing a child has said to you? Mummy, there's monsters watching you from the woods said my three-year-old when we moved into our new place and I was washing dishes by the big windows that look out to the woods. I laughed it off and closed the blinds. When my son was little, three or four-ish, he would wake up with bruises on his forearms that looked like little hands had gripped him too hard. When we asked what was happening he told us an elaborate story about a little girl that lived in his closet and wanted him to hide in there with him. We sort of assumed that he was grabbing his own arms in his sleep and having nightmares but that was definitely horror movie material. He said she wore a dirty white dress, her hair was falling out, her smile was too big and she had red fingers. But In the car with my friend and her two or three year old who was just potty trained and still accident prone. Kid, mommy. I have to go potty, friend, we're almost there, sweetie, kid, no, I have to go now, friend, do you have to go number one or number two, kid, in a panic, six, I have to go number six, you can bet she pulled the car right the fck over. Not said, but did, my little sister used to sleepwalk. One night after I had finished watching a horror film, I heard banging on my door. I was freaking the fck out. It was 3 a.m., I opened the door to find my sister head butting the door, fast asleep. I nearly shat my pants. I turned her around and took her back into her room, then stayed awake the rest of the night. Alright, so I'm a teacher and to get my degree I had to do a child psychology course and actually sit, while supervised, with the kid. With my luck, I get the kid right out of the F shining. He has to see a physiologist because his parents found him trying to drown the family dog. When I eventually asked him why he tried to drown the dog he told me me he licked my head I didn't like it. He then tilted his head to the side again and said, not to me or anyone really but to something behind him, and yes because it was fun too. I have never felt so creeped out in my life. You can't plant those flowers because they will die like you am just a sweet gardener and this happened. I'm kind of afraid of my younger brother. He's only my half brother, and I've only seen him a handful of times. One time I was sitting in the car with him whilst my dad went to get petrol and when he came back and he started crying hysterically and screamed she hit me, dad, she hit me. I was completely shocked and disgusted. I had no idea what he said or why he said it, I'm not sure if he thinks it's funny or if he has something wrong with him. It was really scary. When my daughter was three she randomly turned to me one afternoon and out of the blue said it wouldn't matter if you died. I just get a new mommy. And then went back to playing, ask any parent. Toddlers say disturbing creepy things sometimes. I'm a preschool teacher so I have a ton of these. Most recently, a three year old told me I'm scared of the peekaboo clown, and I was like shit, dude, I don't even know what that is but now I am too. While I was subbing in a contained ed classroom. A 14-year-old boy stood right next to me, smiled, and said I don't like you. One of the other teachers in the room pulled me aside, and explained that he was abused by female family members before being removed from his home. He regularly targeted new female staff members. They separated him from me for that day. I never went back to that room. Child, who was the first person to die? Me, do you mean in this cemetery, or in general? Child. It was God. God's dead. A little girl in my church nursery once told me they are here, in the walls. Don't let them in. She was talking about a mouse she saw in the church kitchen. No child's ever freaked me out but apparently I scared my parents. We were looking for a new house during the SARS epidemic. They found a house they really liked, but apparently child me came up to my mom and said I made new friends, they told me they died here mom. A family did get killed in that house a couple months prior. I was subbing for a pre-K class, 3 and 4 year old, and they were learning about insects. We went over the parts of the body, head, thorax, abdomen, and they all started chanting in little creepy voices, head, thorax, abdomen. There's a mean man in the woods who wants to kill us with a guitar, said by my 2.5 year old as I loaded the dishwasher. Now I can never trust forest musicians. I was at a family party with my cousin. He's about 4 or 5 ish. He had a glow stick with him and he kept hitting me with it. So as any other person would do, I took the glow stick and hit it. After that, 
He told me we could either do this the easy way or the hard way and held a pop gun to my head. The gun weirdly looked like a real gun. Needless to say, I didn't give him his glow stick back. Daughter was three, we laid her down in our room for a nap. I went in to check on her and she was not in the bed. I freak out for a second in the darkness I hear a low and faint child's whisper from behind the chair saying I'm right here daddy, the way she said it made the hairs on my neck stand up. I'm glad my daughter popped out from behind the chair quickly because I halfway thought my child was possessed by a demon. Any of the seemingly endless times my kids have talked about invisible friends in the room. Especially if they aren't friendly ones. Of course we are a monsters aren't real house and don't show weird outs on our faces but it can get pretty weird at times. When I was 12 we lived with my auntie, uncle and younger cousins who were 7, 5 and 3. I had to share a bed with the 3 year old, she was a really smart little kid, big vocabulary for her age and an imagination to match. One night we were laying in bed and suddenly she started crying and pointing at the corner of the room, furthest from us. The only light was the street lights outside. I said what's wrong Jay? What's there? I wasn't able to see anything, not even a spider, which I thought it was. My baby cousin said through tears. The witches are looking at us, they are mean. I was freaking out inside by then as I still couldn't see anything so I asked her how many witches can you see Jay? She answered still crying in my arms there are three, and they are coming. I started to feel slightly unnerved by this as obviously my baby cousins weren't allowed to watch scary films programs, or listen to scary stories, especially at 3, so this came out of the blue. All I could do by this time was to distract my baby cousin by telling her I wouldn't let the mean witches get her, and singing her nursery rhymes until she fell asleep in my arms, I didn't sleep at all that night. Lowell my cousin is now a beautiful, successful student teacher and like a lot of people, we talk about our childhood, she remembers a lot of the things we did together but she never remembers that night. My godson, Gaffer do you remember that time that you died? In the middle of the night my niece woke up and it was pitch black in the room, I heard her moving and I said her name and she responds in the gravely voice, right by my head don't say my name, thought I was about to get murdered by a 5 year old. Back in the late 70s my husband and I moved into a farmhouse on his parents property. My mother-in-law was really into restoring old homes, so she knew lots of things to look for when examining a home. They purchased this old farmhouse because it joined their property of more than 100 acres. She told me that the farmhouse had at one time caught fire. She opened the pantry to show me the charred wood, etc. She also pointed out to me the original part of the house before it was added onto. It was also brought to my attention that someone died in that fire, but she had no more information. My three-year-old son's bedroom was in the original part of the house. He freaked me out one day when he told me about his friend, the boy in the wall. He said the boy couldn't come out because he was burning. I later found out from my mother-in-law that the wall my son talked about used to have a window. His bed was against that wall. You could still see the outline of a window through the wallpaper. He often talked about the boy in the wall. Still freaks me out to think about it. Shudder. Me. GF, and mom chatting in bedroom while mom is folding laundry. Four year old walks in. Mom who's that man by the bed? My daughter, we should play Frozen, but only when the parents die. If you love the cat more than me then I'll kill him my nephew after I joked that the cat was my favorite nephew. I was calling my three year old down the stairs for us to go to Christmas dinner, she said I'm talking to Grandma Vern. My grandma Vern died when I was 6 and we never mentioned her to our 3 year old, it was a bit scary, but also cool. When my son was about 2, his 4 year old sister injured herself somehow, maybe a nosebleed or something. Fair amount of blood, 2 yo, I wanted to go in the Nazi blood closet, me, want, 2 yo, repeats phrase. Yes, I heard it correctly, me, still confused, but processing, 2 yo. I don't want to see the blood, me, metaphorical light bulb moment, ah, the Nazi blood closet, yes, you can go hide in a closet, we'll get your sister all fixed up. We have this safety rule for when my daughter, 4 years old, is playing outside by herself, in our fenced and gated front yard, if anyone tries to talk to you, you come get me first, don't talk to them, don't go to them, I don't care if it's Santa or the neighbor or grandma. 
you come get me first, we were telling my niece, who is the same age, about that rule. And she goes, unless it's you talking to her, me, yeah, I guess you're right. She doesn't need to come get me because I'm the one talking to her, and then she's silent for a long time before going, unless the you who is talking to her is the fake you, and then never elaborated on it. That his father and stepfather were both in prison, so he probably will go to prison, it's more sad than scary, but it scared me when I was a student teacher seeing this much pessimism in a 10 year old. I turned to my brother one day and with the most serious face I said I want to kill you WTFY? He asks. I don't reply, now that that's out of the way adding some context to this. My brother is the biggest a hole anyone has ever met. He was very verbally and psychologically abusive growing up and he constantly yelled at everyone about the smallest things. He seemed like a child from hell but as he got older he never grew out of it. He's the black sheep of my family and no one stays in touch with him. I worked on a zipline one summer. This 7 year old climbs to the top. As we are checking his harness he looks me dead in the eye and says, Do you ever wonder what the world would be like if squirrels were as big as humans? I didn't reply and clipped him in. He continues. They'd scamper so quickly. Then he made a couple squirrel chewing sounds. I finished his safety check, completely befuddled. As I sent him down the zip line, he turns back as he glides away and yelled out, Think about it, it'd be terrifying. I couldn't not think about that for a few days. 12 years later, I'm still thinking about it. My son once described being grabbed by his hair, dragged through the house, thrown onto his bed and locked in his bedroom by his mother's now ex-boyfriend. We had split up shortly after I had returned from being overseas, and as part of our divorce it was decided I would be the custodial parent. He, my son, described it how I imagine any three-year-old might do it, grabbing his own hair, running across the room and throwing himself on the couch. This was done because he had woken early and was in the backyard playing. I called his mother, who he was visiting when it took place and described what I had been told. She very adamantly defended the guy, saying my son had a very vivid imagination. I found out later she herself had been victimized both physically and sexually in ways I will not speak of here, but that their daughter they had together was a product of this. She did eventually get away from the guy and to the best of my knowledge has a form of an order of protection against him but has a lot of issues with her daughter, I don't know what he remembers now, 10 years later, but I hope that is the worst my son experienced. It was a family friend's daughter, about 4 yo at the time. She stabbed her grandmother in the leg with a fork. When I asked why she did it, she deadpan said, the voices told me to do it, devil child. Devil child. Dad, you have to let me go. It's been 8 years since my accident already. Not really scary but weird nonetheless, I was at a mosque for a day and this kid comes up to me and says you see that guy over there? I said yeah and he said my dad has rat poison in his truck, when that guy is sleeping I'm going to poison his drink so he dies. Then he said if you tell anyone, I'll kill you too, he says I'm going to pull the venom out their fangs and put it in your eyes. Weird stuff right there. My friend's kid said to her mommy I'm gonna stay with you and daddy forever. I never leaving. I can't imagine how terrified my friend must be. I was tucking in my two year old. He said goodbye dad. I said, no, we say good night. He said I know. But this time it's goodbye, had to check on him a few times to make sure he was still there. Mammy there is a boy on the roof of the garage looking in at me. Creeped everyone out until the grown ups figured out it was his reflection. My nephew who said he was gonna throw a baseball at my head and didn't care if I got hurt, with a smile on his face. Same kid was also obsessed with the killer clowns from a few years ago, said he wanted to be one to scare people. My daughter was concerned about getting hit by trucks. She would insist on sitting on my husband's shoulders and hold his head to protect his head from being smashed by a truck. She only did it when they were walking along a slightly busy road. She was also very concerned about a truck coming into her room and hitting her in her sleep. Finally, I made a stoplight out of construction paper and she stopped worrying about being hit in her sleep. She would make sure the light was there every night before bed for a while. Thankfully, she hasn't talked about getting hit in years. Am I alive daddy? You must find the jade monkey by the next full moon.
Not the most scary of stories here but my 5 yo son will very randomly say, Mama your heart is dead. Or Jameson's heart is dead, Jay is his little brother, I absolutely hate it when he does that lol. Luckily it's only been 2 to 3 times and I make sure to get on to him about it, it freaks me out. If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next video.